citizen of Ozark, Dale County, but most importantly today, I am a patron of our library. I think that defunding is premature and just way out of line. It is resource used by most, all of the, of the citizens of, of the city and the county from time to time. Most importantly, it impacts those who are underrepresented and underserved, those who can't find information on books in any other manner. Defunding it would have an outsized impact on those people. And we must, as citizens of our community, support and protect those that are vulnerable, including the LGBTQ people. Um, I implore y'all, please do not defund the library. Make a public statement stating you won't do so would be well, it would be well in line with that also. Uh, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. I know you're busy. I'm not going to tie you up for anyone. Appreciate it. All right. At this time, I'd like to ask the commission to make a motion to approve having one more speaker for three minutes. Brittany Galloway. Galloway. Okay. I think the motion. Got a motion for a second. I'll say got a second. All those in favor, say no. Aye. Uh -huh. None opposed. Ms. Brittany, come on up. <coughs> Good morning. My name is Brittany Galland, and I am the founder and current president of the Ozark Book Club. Um, it's unofficial. We don't have any type of um, 
part of the process is it's just a group of people. We pick a book every month, we meet at Loose Brick to discuss it, and we disperse and pick a book for the next month. Um, this is my daughter's favorite book. It's called Good Night Moon. She's two years old and she loves our library. Um, my whole point of being here today is, of course, I'm also in opposition of um, Mayor Blankenship and his statements against our library. Um, the reason why I brought this book in particular today was uh, because a lot of people don't know, and I was wanting to inform this commission in particular, that Good Night Moon was banned from the New York Public Library from 1947 to 1972. Um, and it was because the head librarian at the time, she was also considered um, their children's librarian and the arbiter and sort of tastemaker for all of the United States libraries. Um, Ann Carol Moore was her name and she just didn't like it. She didn't like it, she thought it was too sentimental, she didn't think it was something that the kids should be reading. So the entire, the entire gist I'm trying to get out here is that one person's biases should not dictate the other's access to the information, to the book. Mayor Blankenship circumvented the process entirely in order to have a book pulled for review or reconsideration. Um, I believe the, the, the act for the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the call to defund the library because he doesn't like a certain subspect of books that represents a certain subspect of people um, is completely uncalled for. Um, and I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Thank you. Thank you. And I would like to add one thing here before we move forward with the commission. I have had no communication with Mayor Blankenship, although I'm aware of his comments. I appreciate everyone who took the time to give me their thoughts in regarding to this issue, and I saw the emails and everything else I've got. But I appreciate y'all being here, appreciate y'all speaking. All right. This